14 syllables. Time has one syllable. Right, exactly. So we so take that word mm -hmm. and make it mean what we want it to mean. And by the way. And that's the meaning of the word. And you can't even say, what time is it with his? You would have to say, what is your observer-related perception of reality right now? <laughs> and there's certain things that we do just because it's simple. For example, our words that describe the sun and the horizon are pre-Copernican. Mm. I don't say to you, Chuck, at what time does Earth rotate such that our sight line to the horizon reveals the sun sitting out there in space? I, instead, I say, when what is sun what, what, when when sunrise? sunrise? And when sunset? And when sunset. Right. And I think we're, we're okay with that. Yeah. Because the sun didn't really rise at all. Well, from your point of view. Right. But yeah. still, it's a simple two-syllable two word. Yeah, makes so, sense. So I don't mind precision, but not at the expense of economy. All right. Very cool. All right, here we go. This is Zach Sweet. And Zach says, hello, Dr. Tyson, Lord Nice. Zach here from Moonsville, New York, or Munsville, New York. You've talked about knowing mathematically how to create a wormhole in previous cosmic queries and other explainers. I was wondering, what is keeping us from taking the mathematics from paper and applying them to the physical world, going from script to screen, so Ooh. to speak? Oh, I like that. 